This is a historic moment, especially in the debate over security and personal freedoms. Just over an hour ago, as I said, the Guardian newspaper did something stunning, outing the name of its own leaker, the man who gave them information on one of the most broad and secret U.S. programs ever made public. Let's show that video again of the website where they released that name and that video. This is Edward Snowden, as you say, a computer systems expert. He's had administrative ability in past jobs, and those jobs include working for the CIA and most recently as an, uh, a contractor for the NSA. So he could set some passwords oversee security. Snowden told The Guardian that he worked for the CIA, and it was during that job that he came to realize the scope of these programs. Then he moved to the NSA as a contractor in 2009. Even more, that's when he realized that he felt he needed to leak this information because of the scope of collection that even if regular Americans weren't targeted, he felt this could ultimately affect them. Even if you're not doing anything wrong, you're being watched and recorded. And the, the storage capability of these systems increases every year consistently by orders of magnitude uh, to where it's getting to the point you don't have to have done anything wrong. You simply have to eventually fall under suspicion from somebody, even by a wrong call. Okay, here are some of the things that we know about Edward Snowden, again from the video and report by The Guardian. 29 years old, computer technician who says he's worked in several positions again at the CIA and at the NSA. Uh, Snowden told The Guardian that he is in fact uh, so he, that he is, in fact, right now consulting for the firm Booz Allen Hamilton in Hawaii. I called and emailed the communication staff for Booz Allen. They have not gotten back to me yet. But, Fred, this story is quite a blockbuster. It's an incredible read. What The Guardian is saying here, Fred, is that just a few days ago, uh, this man left behind his entire life in Hawaii. They say that he did not even tell his girlfriend that he would be gone, told his, or told his girlfriend why he was leaving, that he told his supervisor he needed to leave for a few weeks because he needed treatment for epilepsy, which The Guardian says he does suffer from. But essentially, that was a cover for him to leave the country and then to fly to where he is now. Edward Snowden, according to The Guardian, is in Hong Kong. Also in that story, he is quoted as saying he does not expect to return to this country, and he is nervous about possible retaliation from our intelligence agencies. Just an incredible story.